gets ahead before he is stopped on a Somebody nice defensive play by Jamal Price. Gain on the play of about four, third and six at the 551 mark. As we said, I want to thank the fine people at Smith Lewis Chess and Company, located at uh, the Cherry P Tree Plaza here in Uniontown, for all the financial advice and expertise you need. It's the fine people at Smith Lewis Chess and Company. Particular thanks go out to Kenny Rydell and his fine uh, staff of professionals out at Smith Lewis and Chess. Third and about six clock turning at the 523 mark. Under center, Ramsey. In the flat, has his man, turning up field with a Georgiana. Going to get very close to, and I believe he's got the first down. Greg Leonard will make the stop. Bell H moves the chains. They Mike needed Georgia. six, they got about seven. <coughs> so first down and 10, L.H. Stop by number 31, Greg Leonard. Their second first down of the night first is Ramsey. We'll now send Palladino in. And we'll alternate at that wide out between Hall and Palladino. They break twins left and right. Palladino goes out here to the left side. To the right side comes Kenny Rydell. I formation set. Georgiana is the fullback in behind. Option left side. He can turn the corner. He's got running room. He's going to fire up field. Oh, he had some panic downfield and also breaking deep. Two receivers in the area. Palladino was also coming free. Ramsey and Ramsey had Second the option down. there. Could well have turned it upfield and might have been able to pick up some yardage that way. Bobby Madison, who's on the sideline now. Let's see if we can set who the line is in there. Looks like T.J. Brownfield, number 64, has moved in. So that interior will show Capen, Brownfield, Madison, Friend at the guards, and Mason and Softcheck. There are your tackles. You might also see a lot out of Papke and Carl Seiler. Second and ten. Boy, LA's throwing it all over the place as Ramsey comes out and has him set. Under center. Oh, nice cut up inside. And hitting up for short yardage comes Mike Corella. Corella. He will be stopped by Uniontown. Stopped initially by number 31, Greg Leonard. For Greg Leonard. The Red Raiders. Gave him about two yards on the play. Barry, did you get a 75 for Uniontown? Look at your roster. I'm looking at mine. I, I swear I saw a 70. Tell me that nose tackle. That's 75, right? No, none of the sheet shows a 75. Ah, boy. Maybe at halftime we can get some clarification from some of the Uniontown people. LH facing a third down and eight now as Ramsey breaks him out. Under center. Clock running at 3.54 motion coming to the far side. From the far side, near side, Ramsey straight back has time. Oh, he's got Rydell coming open. Long ball. He's got it. He's at the 30. 25, 20, he's gone. 10, 5, touchdown. No flag. No flag. And that one, my friend, 72-yard pass to Rydell from Ramsey. It was a thing of beauty. Good pass protection from the line, and he gunned it upfield, and Rydell came open. And LH is on the board. Great throw by Ramsey. And Ry you could see Rydell getting the separation right here in front of us. Took it perfectly in stride. And the defensive back made one diving effort. And it was all she wrote. So LH on top as Ramsey brings him out. They'll go for the PAT. I set. Corella dots the eye. Here's Corella hitting up inside. And did he get in? He sure did. Yeah, LH to tee it up. Is that 41? Yeah, it is. Paul Metz, number 41, will tee it up. And a run up. And kicks it fairly well. It's going to hit. Fielded at the 30 by one of the up men. And coming straight ahead with it is Greg Billy. And a little push and shove down there. The bottom of the towel making the hit for LH. Looks like TJ Brownfield. And also downfield. Nice job by number 82, Mark Dunn. So put it down at the 41 yard line. Raider ball, first down and 10. 
Elich will send First Mason in now. On the road, Defensive tackle Sampson waiting to get the play in from the sideline, and he's waiting for center, really. I tell you what, it all starts right there with number 50, Jeremy Dittmore, and he sprints out over the football. Tough position to play. Good job, Jeremy. LH defensively now playing with a five-man front. Sampson, handoff up inside, and the Jonathan carry Boyle. by Jonathan Boyle, and hit down by Mason, number 77. Gain of about four, second down and about six. By number 77, Brian Mason. Del also in the air. Try and set that defense for you. Mason is one of the tackles. I think Dave Friend shifts over. 72, the nose tackle is Carl Seiler. Rydell and JT Stefanik. Here's a sprint out. And a draw handoff goes up inside. Here comes the big guy, Leonard. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. He's got a Uniontown touchdown. touchdown. For Uniontown, number 31, 30, Greg Leonard. Number 31, Greg Leonard, and returns the favor. 56-yard by Leonard. And LH and Uniontown, 8-6. Bill? 72, Piper, is now 75. Okay, 72, Piper is now, thank you, Bill uh, Mason. So James Piper is 75. Okay, so the touchdown run comes at the 249 mark. So it took the Raiders <laughs> just two plays to get right back in this thing. At the 249 mark, the big fullback ripped it off, 56 yards. And boy, they are spread with split backs. Samson rolling, Samson firing. Knocked down, incomplete. So LH on top, 8-6 with 2.49 to go. We'll be right back. Attempt on the pass is incomplete. 2.49 now left to go in the first quarter. Laurel Highlands 8, Uniontown 6. So LH will get the ball back as Uniontown strikes in two plays. They go 58 yards. 56 of them covered by the 31 Greg Leonard. So Samson with the run up. And he hits a line drive. This will be bounding back, fielded by LH coming with, I believe that's Corella, looking for running room. Bangs up straight ahead and gonna be hit down hard by CJ Cavalcanti. And it'll come out to the 32 yard line and LH will have it first down and 10. First down and 10, LH. First down and 10, Follow LH will have it at the 32 yard line. Out over the ball, come the Mustang. Ramsey's got him out and got him set. On first down, directs the offense. And a pitch to the left side. Anderson cuts up inside, has some running room, dragging people ahead, gets about four. Nice carry, flag Stop coming in late. 33, Jamel Price. 33 making ball, the hit, Jamel Price, Jamel Price, 44 out of the throat. And this will go, I believe, a face mask against Uniontown. Against Uniontown, face mask. Two thirty to go, 8-6 your score. LH picks up the first down following the face mask and he moving out beyond the 40. Ramsey is out, Ramsey is set. First and 10, Laurel Island. Ramsey sprint out left side, looking deep. Now gonna fire upfield and just beyond number four, Rydell, who was coming open. I tell you, Rydell coming open deep for the second time and almost came up with a spectacular catch. They're giving nice protection to uh, Ramsey. So LH pretty much sustaining the run game right here and going to the air. Nice look at the Uniontown defense from our field camera. That's Matt Campanelli. There's 11 breaking off to the side, Ryan Guthrie. And I tell you, see if that Samson is your deep back. Eric was uh, shaken up early, but he's come back in and done a fine job offensively. He's normally their starting safety, but and they're playing off the ball good. 15 yards, motion to the right side, comes Rydell. Now he turns up inside, loose ball and a flag. That's gonna be against LH. 
Fumble on the play and a penalty flag. Penalty flag, the fumble. Let's see who got it. It was on the exchange. This might be dead ball. So let's see if they indicate. I know it's against L.A. Motion man came out and then turned upfield before the snap. So there'll be a mark off, or they may take the play. It's against Laura, I'm aware of that. And uh, the question here is, did they take the play? I would. Illegal that shift. Against Laura Island. You take you decline. Third and 12. Two yards on the play, it'll be a third and 12. Third down and 12 clock running now at the 2-10 mark. And Mason shifts over here as the right tackle this time. So they're looking at third down and about 12 as Ramsey is under center. Draw fake, look outside, pass out on the screen. Georgiana, and there to make the play is James Piper, number 75. Ramsey pass complete. So that brings up fourth down. Mike Georgiana. <laughs> and a loss on the play will necessitate the puck. Nice play by number 75, James Piper. Loss of two yards on the play. I want to remind you, stay tuned. Immediately after this tape, we've got the Laurel Highlands Yacht Junior High Soccer Tape. Should come sometime around 8 o'clock, depending on how long this game goes. But it is the second tape. So right after this ball Highlands, game, number 28, Mike Carella. Carella will punt. Got three going deep. Samson going deep. And it looks right like James Mays. There's Union a snap. Number 41, James Mays. Just did get it away. It's a floater. Mays back. At the 30, looks for running room, gets a block, turns up field, breaks one, breaks two, he's on his way. Down the sideline and knocked out of bounds across the way. Touchdown saving tackle line. by Mike Carella. Moves it down to around the 27, 28 yard line. A minute to go. Laura Highlands so. Brady sports out of bounds by number 28, Mike Carella. Great. The 30 yard line is the first and 10, Union Field Town. position for the Uniontown Red Raiders. They'll put it at the 30 yard line so they're in four down territory of course <coughs> late getting out there for LH is number 30 Georgiana he'll replace Timmy Dye so full house two tights oh did LH come across the line I think they did all you have to do my friends is penetrate that neutral zone and you don't have to make contact you can get back all you want and it does not matter so this is a big play for Uniontown, first and five as opposed to first and ten. I tell you, when you pick up five yards and you don't have to do a thing about it, that's all right. Into the lineup will come number 23, Sheldon Frizzell. First and five now for Uniontown. To the sideline will go number 81, Matt Smiley. What about saying 25 yard line? Sampson leads him out. Under center, Eric with a full house backfield set in behind him. Motion now. And... Handoff goes up inside to Leonard, the first back, and he breaks one, breaks two tackles, and L.H. hanging on for dear life. you got to do some hitting. They're grabbing. Greg Leonard to the and Timmy Wardell saves the touchdown. Down number 46 for Laurel Highlands. Watch that. He Hill. is a load. He's got good speed for a big guy. And we have a timeout, Uniontown. Timeout, Raiders at the 5, they're at the 52nd mark. We'll be right back. As we come back, following the timeout, didn't work him out. I want to mention the water boys for Uniontown, Benjamin, Ben Sampson, and Zach Todrick, and they were out there doing the timeout. It's first and goal at the nine. Sampson going to hand it off up inside, and with the carry comes Matt Campanelli, I believe. 47, Campanelli. Matt Campanelli, the ball carrier to the five-yard line. Gain of four down by Mike Capen, 66, <coughs> to the six-yard line. Second and goal. Raiders trying to get the tie or excuse me, trying to take the lead. Both teams have scored a touchdown, let each convert it. I'll tell you, Samson with good ball handling skills. And the handoff goes inside, and the big guy, oh, just tired his way through. Comes number 76, is, uh, Demetrius uh, Thomas. Demetrius Thomas, they Demetrius use him Thomas. as the big back in that uh, goal line offense, and I'll tell you, he powers it in. Woo, I'll tell you, that's... Uh, Reminiscent, I tell you, when they put these two, two big guys, look like the fridge coming in there. You got uh, 76, an offensive uh, and defensive lineman, and they shoot him in there as a lead blocker. And Demetrius Thomas, a six-yard run. And the handoff, this is going to be good for two as they smack it off on the 47, Campanelli, for the score. So make it now. 
Uniontown 14, LH 8, and we'll be back. Sixteen seconds to go. Uniontown has driven twice now for touchdowns to offset the one by LH and the run up by Sampson. Boy, it's a very good. This is headed back all the way to the goal line. Picked up there on the bounce. Coming up with it is Mike Carella. He's up the sideline and good coverage by the Raiders. And they'll pin Mike LH Carella deep the five inside line. the 15 Moving yard line. The 12 yard line. We stop by number 33. Just Come out to make eight. the play with Price. So LH will have one play here in the quarter. They got to start running the ball. To the 13 yard line, first and 10. They the have Ohio. disdained the run here and gone strictly with the pass. Uniontown uh, has thrown it a couple of times, but they have run that power eye and that full house backfield set for big, huge yardage in two touchdowns. They, LH has had trouble stopping Leonard in particular. So it's first down and 10 for LH as they break huddle, come out over the ball. As Capen leads them out on first down and 10, Ramsey trying to direct the offensive set. On first down, motion will come now at the nine second mark from Rydell. They're gonna pitch and they got the corner turn maybe. Trying to turn it up inside, Carell leans ahead, gets about three as we've come to the right end of the quarter. 14-8 your score, Raiders on top, we'll be right back. And that ends our first quarter action with the score, he's out 14, a long Life is rising above the rat race. Life is feeling secure <laughs> in an insecure world. For over a hundred years, customers have relied on the savings and investment choices at National City to prepare them for what lies ahead. Life is painting your own picture. National City. Follow your own lead. We're back and rolling to start the second quarter and put the ball down at the 16-yard line. Out over the ball comes LH. There's a nice look from the sideline camera as motion will come now from Hall. He turns up in, pitching to get the corner, turning upfield now. Comes Corella and he gets ahead for about four before he is so smacked down by Jamel Price. Jamel Price on the play. And Mike Corella ahead. Gain of four. Got about four, looking at third down now, and the better part of three yards to go. So the play comes in from the sideline from Greg Palladino. LH's touchdown coming on a 72-yard strike from Ramsey to Rydell. Uniontown countered. 56-yard run by Leonard and a six-yard run by Demetrius Thomas. So they've gone different ways. LH has gone through the air more than 50% of the time here tonight. Uniontown has kept it on the ground. So Ramsey out. Ramsey set on third down. Rolling right. Nice block. And I'll tell you, did he stumble? Or he might have been hit by 75. Piper looked like he had some room out there Mother on the right Ramsey side. Tripped up. But I think someone just reached out and might have got the Number ankle. Jim Piper. Or did he just go down on his own? A lot of five. He, from our field camera, Jody got a good look at it and said he just lost his footing. I tell you, it looked like he had some running room out there. He had plenty of time if he was going to throw. So, boy, this is a costly play right there. LH will have to kick it from deep in her own territory. Yeah. Number 28, Mike Corella. Corella will Back do the punt. Number 41, James, James Mays. James Mays is deep, and he's a good return man. Uniontown should get good field position here. Good snap. And a line drive, and the ball's loose and on the bounce. Picked up by Mays. Rydell can't get to him. Friend trying to get to him. Stays with him, and he'll get him down. Nice play by Friend. He stayed right with him. James Mays. And Mays on a turn of about yard three line. yards. <laughs> from the 45 to about the 42. So Uniontown will put it in for the first down and 10. This is a big defensive series for LH and a big offensive series for Uniontown. If they can get another touchdown here and open it up uh, by two touchdowns uh, and the way they're running the football, they could take control of this baby. I'm impressed with their ground game. They're in line doing a nice job. Dittmore, Piccolomini, King, Musi, and C.J. Cavalcanti. And out over the ball they come. Samson with a tight eye. Leonard is right beside him. And he'll hand it off up inside to the second back. And Mason was there to make the hit. 
as they slipped it off to the tailback, number 21, Jonathan Boyle. Game one. Looked like Mason on the hit, number 77. So it'll be second down nine. Number 77, Brian Mason. So Brian Mason makes the play at second down. Might have said Bill, that's his dad. His mom and dad right down here in front of us, along with his grandma. So it's second down and nine. It's Samson is now, this is a big down here. Oh, nice fake pop pass up over the middle, almost intercepted. And we're gonna get a flag against LA for a late hit. We have a penalty flag. Let's see the call, might be roughing the passer. I'll tell you, Samson, nice fake, popped outside, almost intercepted by Ramsey, and then a look back upfield, the flag, and Samson was on his back. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Personal foul called against Laura Highlands, roughing well, that the passer. Is a backbreaker. Instead of third and nine, 15 yard march off and a first down. 15 yards, march off against Laurel Highlands, first and 10. It's at the 25, so Uniontown has been a recipient of two big penalty calls that have helped them out immensely. And this one keeps the drive in really good shape to the 25 yard line. Sampson has taken a couple good whacks back here, but he's a tough kid, I know that. This is a backward pass. They send it out to Smiley in pursuit. Rydell will get to him, that'll be a loss. That's Smiley. Ball comes loose Stop well after the play four. is over. Kenny Rydell. Kenny Rydell makes the play and a loss of two. So that loss of two on the play. goes as a running play, if you're keeping statistics, Matt Smiley. And I tell you, he's got to get to that thing. If it's incomplete, it is a loose football. Into the lineup for LH. I think that's number 50, Blake Faust. He'll move in as a nose tackle. Mason and Stefanik. To the near side, here's a down lineman. Samson, and the handoff goes up inside. Big hole, Alex ripping his way, goes there. Alex Grote. Well, he got some huge backs in there. Pick up of uh, about three, four yards, maybe five. So it'll be third and about six. That's the 21 yard line. The 21 yard line. Third down, we'll call it six at the 6.30 mark. Halfway home through the second quarter. In town on top, 14-8, looking for more. Well, I'll tell you, Pat, uh, excuse me, Dittmore just sprints out over that football and he breaks huddle. Samson comes out, power eye, full house backfield set, and he's rolling right, looking, has a man come open, fires, great catch, touchdown! Got it on the hands of Matt Smiley on a fine throw by Samson. Samson put it right where he had to put it as the defender was in good shape, and a nice throw by Sampson, so a 21-yard pass. Eric Sampson, right on the money. And that was 81 Smiley, right, Barry? 81, 21-yard uh, pass to Smiley from Sampson. Uniontown has opened it up now by two touchdowns, and he'll go for more. Nice to see Edie Hoover here taking the action in. Dave, one of the big Laurel Highlands fans, rolling, and Samson is hit by Mason, and down he goes. So the PAT is no good. Good and penetration by Brian Mason, and no good, and no good is the PAT. Uniontown up by 12. And we'll be right back. Eric Samson to see it. That beats the Laurel Highlands, number 32, Greg Anderson, and number 28, Mike Corella. Very high, very, very short. And LH fumbles it around. It's going to be picked up by one of the deep return men and slammed to the ground. On the play, let's see who was the uh, return man. That's Mark Dunn. And he gave ground, looked Mark to get Dunn. it upfield and actually Dropped lost the yards. The at the 18 yard line. Short what kick by Samson. Actually, turns out beautiful for the Raiders. It's at Ball the 20 yard line. line. First down and 10. Boy, LH has got to start running this football. I just want to remind you also that tomorrow night, you're watching this game Saturday. What is it, Jerry? October 28th. And tomorrow night, October 29th, Sunday night at 6 o'clock, we've got LH and AG. LH and AG tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, a replay of Friday night's game. Under center comes Ramsey on first down. Motion coming from Rydell. And a handoff up inside. Is this Corella or is this Georgiana? It's the fullback, I believe, Georgiana. He gets ahead. Or a couple. Alex Grove making the hit. Along with Greg Leonard. So let's try and set that Uniontown defense. Game of two. 
Demetrius Thomas, James Piper, Leonard, one of the defensive ends, and 84, Newland. So that's their four-man front. Grote is one of the linebackers along with Kellen Lee. Second down now. And eight. Ramsey. Delay and nothing going right there. They are Michael smacked down. No gain. In fact, loss of two. So be third to ten. By number Again, Piper. Piper, number 75. I tell you, the defensive linemen for Uniontown doing their thing right now. They have taken away LH's effective running game. And this has uh, been a good running game. Early trying to throw. Now they're trying to reestablish that or establish for the first time right that running game and unable to do so. Rydell goes wide right. Boy, Uniontown's off the ball. I'm telling you, they are not going to allow uh, Rydell to get deep again. Ramsey is out and set. He's going to fake. He's going to roll. He's got a man coming open. This one is up for grabs. Coming back for it. And making the catch is Rydell. Underthrown as he was hit. Ramsey. <laughs> and a catch of about 35 yards. LH will move it out to midfield. Actually 29 yards on the play. And LH, good adjustment to the ball as Ramsey was hit just as he got rid of it. And Rydell, and this is the advantage an offensive uh, receiver has. He sees the ball. He can come back for the underthrown pass. And that's exactly what Rydell did. 4-14 to go. That's a big play. LH now looking at first down and 10 at midfield. Trailing by 12. Ramsey sprinting out. Little flare to the outside. He's got his tight end. J.C. Stefanik. He's rumbling downfield. He's at the 20. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. To the 5. He's in for the touchdown. 51 yards. J.C. Stefanik. Nice pass out here. One yard on the play. J.T. Stefanik got rolling, and he broke a tackle at about the 30-yard line, made a cut. The last defender slipped, and then there was a chase down the sideline. He was grabbed at the goal line, but went in for the score. So a 51-yard pass to Stefanik from Ramsey at the 354 mark of the uh, second quarter. And L.H. now goes for the all-important two points right here. Down by six. They need these two. Under center is Ramsey. Barks out the signals on a long count. Going to slip it off inside and breaking tackles and going nowhere with it is Corella. So 20 to 14 is your score. And LA has closed the gap to 20 to 14. We'll be right back. This is a very, very, very big 354 to go for LA. They trail now by 20 to 14, and they've got to stop the Raiders and go into that locker room and no more down at 20 to 14 because they'll have the ball to start the second half. The run up, kick very, very high. This one may drop in. Oh, nice job by Uniontown. Fielded there by Justin Lukacs. Running to the left side, trying to get to the corner, and down he goes. Nice play by Dunn. Good, good work by Lukas. Good job by Mark Dunn. Now here's your key situation. Mark Uniontown has all the time the they, they need. And it's a 20 to 14 game now. And Eric Sampson has more than enough time to move his ball club down the field. And I believe he has got at least two timeouts left. First down and 10 as Dittmore leads him out. Mays splits wide to the left side, a wide out right and eye formation. Leonard the near on the ground. Ball loose. Sampson comes out of there with it, and he is smacked down hard by JT. So Stefan Stefanik with the hit. On the stop to Eric Sampson. Sampson. Good job by Eric just to get on the football. Second down now. And about 13 or 14 to go. It's a big series for LH's defense. Uniontown wants to pick up a couple of first downs, if nothing else, to eat this clock up. Sampson is out and set. 
And handoff to the last back through. And coming with it is Frizzell. He is down the sideline, and he's got a big first down. Knocked off his feet by Greg Anderson. Pick up on the play of about 17, and he's got a big first down. 45-yard line. First and ten. First down and ten. Into that lineup will come number 66, Mike Capen. Ramsey shaking up a bit, comes out of there. Also hustling to the sideline comes Carl Siler, 72. Uniontown, that full house backfield, a handoff to the second back, and Mason is right there, making a hit for LH. And as they untangle, also 65, David Friend. Game of one, as Boyle was hit right at the line of scrimmage. Nice job by uh, Friend and Mason. So it'll be second down now. And by number 77, this week for Laura Highlands, Brian Mason. Second down at the 214 mark. <coughs> Eric Sampson out and set. It's another big play here for LH. Sampson back, set, fire, and man coming open. Just incomplete. Try to get it downfield for Mays. Covered by George Belch for LH. Brings up third down and nine. Nice throw by Sampson. Just a tad beyond the reach of the receiver. To the sideline for LH will come Timmy Wardell. Try and set the deep backs for you. I tell you, Belch had a nice game against uh, Brownsville in an earlier telecast of ours this year. Dittmore sprints out. Sampson. They're the two guys that touch it on each and every play, the center and the quarterback. And Sampson to fire, upfield man open and through the hands of the intended receiver, Mays. Just couldn't quite Eric hang Sampson on. Sampson's pass the right on the money. Bay. Fourth down. Brings up fourth. That was six. Nice effort that time by Mays. I tell you, you had to make a little bit of an adjustment. You had to come back a little bit over the shoulder. That's a tough grab to make. So it's fourth down now. LH has got to be in a prevent. I mean, you cannot allow. That's two in a row that Mays has gotten behind the secondary. Meadows checks out. At the 158 mark. Sampson has shown uh, not only an ability to utilize the ground game, he can throw, and he's straight back. No fake here. They're going to set up a screen. They fire to Frizzell. He's got blockers in front of him. He steps ahead, breaks one. He's going to be just short of the first down. Mason saved the day, I believe, for L.H. I don't think he got it. And L.H. is held. Big play by Mason because, I tell you, he was cutting back. Wow, nice play by Mason. I tell you, they had their shots at him, but credit Frizzell. And uh, I tell you, a little bit of arm tackling out there and grabbing. You've got to do some hitting, and it's first down and 10. So LH has some timeouts left, and they're looking at first down and 10, and they've shown they can throw the ball and throw it deep. So let's see what they do. LH with it now. First down and 10, trailing 20 to 14. Out here wide to the left side. Comes Chris Hall. He'll draw coverage from Mays. Collision, backfield, pitch coming out of to Corella. He turns upfield and down he goes. Good hard tackle by Uniontown. Kellen Lee, the middle linebacker, makes the hit at the 134 mark. Okay, collision in the backfield between the fullback and the quarterback. And the play will come to the sideline. Run in here by Greg Palladino. 121 to go. I tell you right now, if LH doesn't get good yardage here. If Uniontown does what I think they'll do, they'll call a timeout and force LH, if nothing else, to punt and go for the block. Minute 10 to go. Eye set. Georgian is the near back in the eye. Under center comes Ramsey. He's going to roll. Setting up. Going to fire deep up here. This one might be picked off by Mays. No, couldn't hang on. Sampson hit hard as he released it by number 31, Leonard. So third down and 12. Good coverage by Mays. He was back there behind the receiver. Perfect spot here for a draw. Perfect spot for a draw play on third and 11. 53 seconds to go. Occasionally, you can pop a big one on that draw. If nothing else, you force Uniontown also to take that timeout, and you'll run valuable seconds off if you pick up the first down. So let's see if LH elects to go with the ground play 
as they go wide side, right, and send Hall out there, short side, receiver split to the left side, is Rydell. Under center comes Andre. He's going to roll right. He has the corner turn, maybe. Now he dips in, dips out, and down he goes. Under Knocked MP. down hard. For a loss. Big play there by Matt by Campanelli. 47, Matt Campanelli. Well, I'm shocked right here. Uniontown's not calling a timeout. Ah, uh, there it is, I believe. And... Back to the 28-yard line. So timeout on the field. Uniontown, if nothing else, gets a shot to block the punt. And if not, they'll get a couple of uh, running plays or passing plays. 33 seconds to go. LH trails the Raiders. It's Uniontown 20. The Mustangs 14 will be right back. So Uniontown does get the timeout. LH... Oh, you got to be kidding me. They can't... Fourth and 18 now for the... They're Monday. going for it on fourth and 18. Deep in your own territory. Oh, Uniontown jumps, so that's five. Got only five. Fourth and 18 makes it fourth. I do not understand the call. Yeah. That's five. Five-yard penalty being marked off against Uniontown for offside. Unless LH is just... Now LH takes a timeout. And we have a timeout for Ohio. We'll be right back. So let's see if LH re rethinks this decision. They're looking at fourth down. And it's at the 34. No, they're going for it. Fourth and 13 now for Law Island. So on their own 34-yard line. This is a real gamble from the 34. And timeout called. I think they just been, may have been trying to draw them offside and get five more, uh, Jerry. <coughs> Looks like the kick team coming on, and so maybe... the final timeout of the half for Laurel Highland. There was no intent whatsoever to kick it. They did draw them five yards, and they figured, well, let's see if we can get five more. And then maybe you're up uh, where you're looking at fourth down and about seven, so... Timeout on the field. South Union Township Sports Network coverage continues. It's the Uniontown freshman 20, the LH ninth graders 14. LH will kick it away now. Playing for Laura Highlands, number 28, Mike Carella. Carella will do the Thank punting. For Uniontown, number 41, James Mays. Mays is back center deep. Uniontown's got to come with a rush. And they do. Good kick away. Away from the return, man. This one takes a bounce, and Rydell will down it with 26 seconds to Ball go the at the 45-yard line. line. By so the Raiders four. will have it. <laughs> first down and 10. Just about a 22-yard punt, but more importantly, no return. He kicked it to a dead spot and away from the return, man. So LH has got to be in a deep prevent right now. Samson will have an opportunity to go deep or down the field two or three times at least. LH is out of timeouts. That doesn't matter right now as Dittmore comes out. Over the ball. Samson. Little reverse. It's on the ground. It's loose. Trying to get back after it and picking up his smiley. Ramsey can't get to him. Here he comes up the sideline and hit out of bounds. Good play oh, there play. by Smiley. He got that. back on smiley. it. Moves the ball to the 40. I think it was J.T. Stefanik that got him out of bounds, so it's effectively it's a gain of maybe a yard. The 45 yard line, that's Second a down. Of a yard on the play. And nine. They tried to run a reverse, and L.H. defended it beautifully, but nice job by Smiley after he picked up the ball to get out of the grasp of one of the L.H. defenders and move it upfield. That was either 89 Stefanik or 88 Hall who made the play. So it'll be second down now and nine at the 16-second mark. Samson is out. Samson, quick pop pass over the middle. He's got Mays. He runs by one man. He's down the sideline. And finally trying to get out of bounds with nine seconds to go. Mays was hit out of bounds. Timmy Wardell makes the play. Now Samson has time to go deep. Maybe one time. LH has got to be in a deep prevent. I tell you, not a good job of... Uh, tackling by LH. They've had their opportunities for some big hits. Just good running, too, by Uniontown. As Samson leads him out, May splits wide right, and Eric is straight back. Fires upfield, and Belch was in perfect position with five seconds to go. Eric Samson's pass incomplete. 
Brings up second, and you might as well take goal. At the 39-yard line, Sam's had laid it out there, and a nice job by Belt. You got Corella back deep, 32. Excuse me, Anderson back deep, 32. You've got uh, 46, <coughs> Kimmy Wardell. You got to be in a deep prevent, guys. Back them off out of there. Belch deploys off the ball. Third down with Sampson. Pressure coming. He fires upfield and oh my goodness, complete at the horn and down to the 10 yard line goes number 41 Mays and the half will come to a fortuitous ending for LH right there. I'll tell you if Mays keeps his feet, he scores, but a good effort right there. Thir 20 to 14 at the half. LH trails the Uniontown Red Raiders by six and we'll be right back. For all the wonderful things you remember as a child. There were the great historians that shaped our country. The interesting lands and cultures around the globe. The fascinating world of science. Or the exciting adventures of Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. Recapture the memories when you help your child read and study at home. After all, who knows? You may learn something, too. Mama Ruka's Pizza, locally owned and operated since 1962, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's area youth athletic event. A friendly pizza shop where pride of ownership shows, Francine and Jim Sampson assure you that you will receive quality food at the best prices in Uniontown. Mom Marucas is open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. and on Saturdays from 4 o'clock until 11 o'clock p.m. Lunch delivery is available Monday through Friday from 11 until 2 with your order normally ready within 15 minutes. We offer a Monday special featuring our 16-inch hoagie, the best hoagie in Uniontown, and our Saturday special features two eight-cut, two-topping cheese pizzas for only $9.99. Our employees are courteous and they are ready to prepare your special orders and each order leaves our premises with a big hearty thank you as Jim and Francine truly appreciate your business. Mom Maruca should be your choice for homemade pizza, salads, subs and more. That's Mom Maruca's Pizza Shop, 265 North Gallatin Avenue here in Uniontown. Service Center in Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's area youth athletic event. Established in 1955, Tri-County Tire has provided outstanding service and products to the greater Uniontown area for more than 40 years. Tri-County Tire is your Michelin American Tire Center and Michelin BF Goodrich, Uniroyal, Riken, Cavalier, and Clay Bear Tires and Products are all available. Our complete tire service includes spin balancing and four-wheel computerized alignment. Our special 17-step oil change is available to you in addition to complete brake, exhaust, and cooling system repair and service with an ASE mechanic available. We also now feature progressive custom wheels that are available to our customers. Owner Charles Marcinko invites you to stop by and experience the best in auto service in the immediate area. Hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays, 8 a.m. to noon. For more information, please call Charlie at 438-8556 or stop by at our location at 30 East Fayette Street here in Uniontown. Quickly a recap of this 20 to 14 Uniontown Red Ra Raider lead at halftime. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay on our fuel camera tonight. So glad we could use him tonight. I'll tell you, doing a fine job, Jody McCoy. Uh, LH got on the board very quickly on an 82-yard drive seven plays and it a uh, couple of penalties set him back after a first down he had a roughing uh, personal foul but then a 72 yard pass from Andre Ramsey to uh, Rydell and a great job that time as Kenny got behind the secondary was untouched down the sideline and LH was on the board at the 337 mark of the first quarter leading it eight to nothing after the PAT taken in 4-2 by uh, their fine tailback uh, Mike Corella Uniontown came right back to score on their uh, next possession. This one was a two-play 
58-yard drive, and it was all 56 yards of it by Mr. Leonard. Greg Leonard, the uh, big fullback, just went up the left sideline, got free at the uh, 249 mark, and got into the end zone. The PAT was no good, and at the 249 mark, LH at that point led it eight to six. Now the Raiders would score on their next two possessions and appeared to blow this thing open as Demetrius Thomas got a six yard run at the 16 second mark of the first quarter. PAT run by Campanelli made it 14-8 Uniontown. Uniontown came right back on their next possession at the uh, 606 mark of the second quarter. A picture perfect pass from uh, number uh, 12, Eric Sampson, a 21 yard strike down the right sideline to number 81 smiley and he went into the end zone for the score and the pat again was no good and it was 20 to 8. lh got uh, the ball back and drove the ball down the field and scored on a 51 yard pass from ramsey to jt stefanik uh, ramsey's toss to stefanik coming at the 354 mark of the second quarter the pat was no good and that's where we stand at halftime right now up on the board it is the Uniontown Red Raider, ninth graders, 20, the LH freshman, 14. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry DuPay and Jody McCoy. Second half action comes up after this. Life is the ride, not the destination. Life is rising above the rat race. Life is feeling secure. <laughs> in an insecure world. For over a hundred years, customers have relied on the savings and investment choices at National City to prepare them